So we just got the 2020.12.6 software update, which adds traffic light and stop sign control beta. Now, if you currently have the hardware three upgrade and the full self-driving feature in your Tesla, you should have already seen these traffic lights and stop signs showing up in the visualizations on the screen. What this feature does is it adds the ability for the car to go ahead and stop at those traffic lights and stop signs. To enable it, we go to autopilot settings when the car is in park, turn on traffic light and stop sign control beta. A few things to note here, it says that you will have to tap the accelerator or stock to proceed through all green lights, blinking lights and off lights. That's a pretty smart conservative decision there. It will continue straight and will not make turns. It will not control for all intersections, therefore we must pay attention at all times, including braking. When the feature is enabled, it will limit your autopilot speed to the speed limit of the road. So a lot of people aren't happy about that. It will be conservative. It's gonna slow down often and over time it'll learn. It doesn't work very well in all environments. So we just have to pay attention and keep in mind that this is a beta. So let's enable it. I have cameras all over the car. Let's see how it works. So it looks like we can set faster than the speed limit on a freeway, so no change there. Now take exit 196 on the right. So it's turning on the turn signal, taking the exit. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto San Luis Bay Drive. Now this exit has a left turn lane and a right turn lane. I expect it's just going to kind of stay straight, which would be that right turn lane even though navigation wants to take a left. No, actually, it pulled over into the left side. It's pretty cool. It's pulling up and it's freaking out a little bit, but it's stopping. <laughs> That's kind of a odd, like really wide with a turn. So I don't know, maybe that caused it to freak out a little bit or it obviously wasn't sensing my hands also. So we're approaching an area where some versions of autopilot have struggled, where there's an entrance ramp coming on and the road appears to widen. This one's doing a really nice job. In the past, they have just jerked the steering wheel over to try to center up in that lane really aggressively. And it's just not necessary. So this one's upgrade. This next exit is going to have just a single lane that comes to a stop sign and we're going to want to take a left after that, but the car thinks we want to go right right now. So we'll see if it kind of just puts us in the center, does it try to take us to the right? to a stop but again it kind of freaked out a little bit like it wasn't sure that I was still there all right this will be an exit ramp with a traffic light and several lanes and navigation wants to take a left So it's not putting us in the left turn lane this time, and it's just kind of keeping us straight. Interesting. 
So didn't take the le left turn lane, which I wasn't expecting it to anyway. It might have done that last time because there was a car in front of us, possibly. And then when I gave it permission to pass through the intersection there, kind of freaked out a little bit. So this next exit just has a yield sign at the end of it. Now, previous versions of autopilot would just come to a stop at the yield sign. So I'm curious to see if this one will roll through it. Autopilot navigation complete, press accelerator to resume. So that makes sense. Um, it's treating it now like it's a green traffic light. I tapped the accelerator and it just moved on through. We're still in autopilot. Speed limit set to the limit of the street we're on. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it it's clear to go through the green and it just moves on through all right GoPro battery died on me so I had to stop and charge for a bit we'll see if it has enough to make it through the last section here so we're gonna go through downtown one thing I'm curious to see if it'll do is will it recognize crosswalks because even though that's not a stop sign or a traffic light we still need to stop at those. So let's see. All right. Engaged. We've got the red light behind the car. We've got a bicyclist over on the right side. Green. Give it the go ahead. And come on, you can do it. All right. Okay, it's clear. All right, we're coming up on the crosswalk here. cruising on through so definitely no crosswalk recognition give it to go ahead Again, just right through the crosswalk, which they don't claim that it stops for those. It's just curious. All right, coming up on a yellow. I'm going to use the gear stock this time. It works just like the accelerator. Clears the message and the car just rolls on through. So looks like we just lost the GoPro, but that's fine. We were about done anyway. So I'd say overall, I, I like it. You know, it's kind of along the lines of navigate on autopilot. It's good in some situations, not so good in others. I can definitely see where some people will just choose not to use it because it's not immediately that helpful. But I do like that it shows progression. We're getting some more baby steps towards full self-driving. We have to walk before we can run. And right now that means approving for it to go through even green lights. 
but next step we probably won't have to approve green light so it's it's cool to see progress I'll continue using it because without people training it it's never gonna get better and I hope others will too so leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for other scenarios you'd like to try and thanks for watching